Hi everybody, it's Sunday, it's October the 18th, and today we're excited because Evelyn Joe is baptized. Well, as you look around, you can probably tell, I'm at the Bob Drewell Building, that's the Snohomish County Administration Building. It's a place where all manner of government business is conducted, licenses, and you can register articles of incorporation, all that kind of thing. I needed to go here not so long ago because, well, this had expired and I needed to get a renewal. This is my United States passport. This is a sign and reminder that, that I belong here, that this is my country. I'm attached, I am a citizen of these United States. Now, if it weren't COVID times, we could actually get inside the building. And if it weren't COVID times, I could actually travel to other countries and I'd bring this along. But of course, now with the pandemic, there's not much traveling going on, but this is important to me. And well, once Evelyn is baptized, she's not gonna need a passport. She might get that later in life, but she will have another sign, another reminder of her connection, her attachment, her place in a community. Let's go to church. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. God, rule in our hearts. Created by you, let us live in your image. Created for you, let us act for your glory. Redeemed by you, let us give you what is yours. Through the one who saves us, Jesus the Christ. Amen.
A reading from Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing that you have asked, for you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. Moses said, Show me your glory, I pray. And the Lord said, I will make all my goodness pass before you and will proclaim before you the name the Lord. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious and will show mercy on whom I show mercy. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless the name of the Lord. Proclaim God's salvation from day to day. Declare God's glory among the nations and God's wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, more to be feared than all gods. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord power and honor. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due the holy name. Bring offerings and enter the courts of the Lord. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before the Lord all the earth. The reading comes from 1 Thessalonians, chapter 1, beginning at the first verse. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We always give thanks to God for all of you and mention you in our prayers, constantly remembering before our God and Father your work of faith and labor of love and steadfastness of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. reading from Matthew's Gospel. Then the Pharisees went and plotted to entrap Jesus in what he said. So they sent their disciples to him along with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are sincere and teach the way of God in accordance with truth and show deference to no one, for you do not regard people with partiality. Tell us then, what do you think? Is it lawful to pay taxes to the emperor? or not. But Jesus, aware of their malice, said, Why are you putting me to the test, you hypocrites? Show me the coin used for the tax. And they brought him a denarius, and he said to them, Whose head is this, and whose title? They answered, The emperor's. Then he said to them, Give therefore to the emperor the things that are the emperor's, and to God the things that are God's. When they heard this, they were amazed, and they left, and they went away.
Do you remember those early lines in that first chapter of the book of Genesis when the Spirit of God, the, the wind of God, the breath of God is moving, is brooding over the deep, over the chaos? And then there's a voice, right? You remember? The voice, and, and then there's light, and then there's separation of night from day, and there's a voice. And there are uh, creeping things on the land, and there are, are creatures under the waves and in the sky above, and then there's a voice, and there's humans, humankind. And it says, let us make humans in our image, after our likeness. It's the royal we, God building and birthing, God making with purpose and intention us in the imago Dei, the image of God, beautiful and blessed and loved. What a gift. Who would want for more? Who would need for more than that? Fulfilled and whole and complete. I'm in the image of God. You're in the image of God. We're all in the image of God. End of story, right? Until you read on, you read on and discover that there are more chapters to this story, more, more layers to unfold, loss and pain, more stories of love and forgiveness, stories of lies and redemption. <laughs> well, you, uh, you remember the story about the dog, the dog with a steak in its mouth. It's quite sure it has the, the best meat in its mouth it's ever had. And so it goes to find a place to consume it, only to come upon a pond. And the dog looks down into the surface of the water in the pond and, of course, sees a reflection, sees another steak, and sees another dog. <laughs> and there's the conundrum. Because you can see that the dog is wondering, should I let go of the piece of meat that I have in order to grab and take away the one from the other? And in desperation, in an act of avarice, the dog makes his move. And of course, the steak that's in his mouth falls and disappears beneath the surface of the water. <laughs> you know, instead of seeing my neighbor as a fellow traveler, Instead of seeing my neighbor as another one created in the image of God, instead of seeing my neighbor as the object of God's loving intention, I see my neighbor as something else, maybe as competition. I see my neighbor as, as a threat or someone I can blame for the problems that I have. I see my neighbor perhaps as something less, in the image of God, as less than human. You know, maybe on the way in, you could see the red banners hanging. That's because we're getting ready for Reformation Sunday. That's next week. And it's this, this celebration of Luther's protest, the, the movement and the change. Uh, Luther is famous for the saying, Christian individuals do not live in themselves, but in Christ and in their neighbor, or else they're not Christian. They live in Christ through faith and in the neighbor through love. <laughs> you know, um, my, my passport bears an image. And, and inside, I, I'm rather, rather fond of this image because, of course, it's, it's me. It's taken a few years ago. Um, but, but on the front, there, there's another image. It is the seal of the Secretary of State of these United States of America. Now, someday I expect that Evelyn Jo will have a passport herself, that it will be a document, a sign. It'll be a reminder to her that she belongs, that she's a member, she's a citizen of these United States and has all of the privileges and all of the responsibilities therein. But in baptism today, well, she has another marker. She has another sign, another promise over her life. For you see, in baptism, she is assured of another identity and participation. It is an image, an image that, well, candidly, is sometimes hard to bear. Because this new claim, this new image on us is different from the one that we share as a citizen. A different authority, a different definition of our purpose, 
an image that sometimes collides with our citizenship, one that requires protest and lament and witness, one that sometimes even requires defiance. The image of God will be the center of her life. It will be the center of all our lives in order that we might live as free people. People that are free, free to love, free to take responsibility for ourselves, free to ask for forgiveness when we harm another. This is the life. This is the work. This is the duty and this is the joy of all those who are marked with the cross of Christ and sealed with the promised Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Joe Totten for baptism. Amen. Amen. <laughs> well, Kelly and Rachel, um, called by the Spirit and trusting in the grace and love of God, do you desire to have your daughter baptized into Christ? If so, would you say together, we do. We do. We do. All right. Well, as you bring her to receive the gift of baptism, you're entrusted with responsibilities to live with her among God's faithful people, to bring her the Word of God and the Holy Supper to teach her the Lord's Prayer and the Creed and the Ten Commandments, and to place in her hands the Holy Scriptures, and to nurture her in faith and prayer so that she may learn to trust God, to proclaim Christ through word and deed, to care for others in the world that God made, and to work for justice and for peace. So do you promise to help her grow in the Christian faith and life? If so, would you all say together, we do. We do. I ask you to profess your faith in Christ, to reject sin and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you away from God? If so, say, I renounce them. I renounce them. And you remember the words of the creed. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. All right, you guys, watch this. Huh? We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters, and by your word you created the world, calling forth life in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood you delivered Noah and his family, and through the sea you led your people Israel from slavery into freedom. And by the river of your son you were baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. And by the baptism of Jesus' own death and resurrection, you set us free from the power of sin and death and raise us up to new life in you. Pour out your Holy Spirit, the Spirit of your living word, 
that this one who is here washed in these waters may be given new life. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. It's time, kiddo. Evelyn, Joe, Totten, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen, girl. Yeah. Here, Dad. That, now, that's a keeper for you. You guys get to have that at home. And then, Auntie, can you take that candle and light it from the big one up on top? Yeah. Evie, let your light so shine before others that they might see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. And amen. And now this little sign. Evie, child of God, you've been marked with the cross of Christ and sealed with the promised Holy Spirit forever. Amen, kid. Yeah. We give you thanks, O God, that through the water and the Holy Spirit, you give your children new birth. You cleanse them from every sin and raise them to eternal life. Sustain Evelyn with the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, and the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, and the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. Baptized in water, sealed by the Spirit, marked with the sign of Christ our King. Born of the Spirit, we are God's children, joyfully now. With confidence in God's grace and mercy, we pray for the church, the world, and all those in need. We pray especially for our young people anticipating confirmation, Cohen, Ellie, Nate, Jake, and Megan. We pray for those longing for wholeness, Bev, Bill, Larry, Joyce, Wayne, Mike, Judy, Heidi, Roberta, Anders, Janet, Marianne, Kirsten, Patty, Greg, Lindsay, and the youngest ones, Harper Elizabeth, Holly, and Hannah Mae. Assure all in need that you are with them, that you call them each by name, Lord in your mercy. Let us pray as Jesus has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Oh, huh. Excuse me, are you? Is this, is this a video? Yes. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs>
We've also got bratwurst and hot dogs for everybody. So make your plan to come by that day. You're also gonna have a chance in that newsletter to pick up a registration form because it's food basket time. And of course this year is different from other years, but you get a chance to fill that out. And if you wanna be one of those who helps local families in need, there's a terrific way to do that in more details. Okay, the last thing, <sighs> this matters. This really, really matters. Okay, gang, it's time for the last blessing. But don't forget, if you get that newsletter, you want to pull out the sheet that has the sign up for holiday food baskets. We can help a lot of people this year. But for now, the Lord is blessing us. The Lord is keeping us. The Lord's face is shining on us and giving us peace, giving us hope, giving us a future. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Uh, go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.